It's been a long time coming. United fans have been waiting for it, but Manchester United have now officially confirmed a deal to sign Bruno Fernandes from Sporting Lisbon. The fee is going to be 55 million euros, as was previously reported yesterday, with 25 million euros coming in add-ons and bonuses. Taking a look at it, you've got five mil after a number of appearances, five mil for Champions League qualification, and 15 mil for individual objectives. But United have agreed a deal to sign Bruno Fernandes. The same Bruno Fernandes that got 50 goals and assists combined in the Portuguese league. Last year and this year, he's been a leader on the pitch in that number 10 role that United so desperately need a creative spark in. Bruno is that man. Now, he hasn't been formally announced by the club because that will happen tomorrow or Friday after he has had his medical, but both United and Sporting Lisbon have officially confirmed that the deal has been agreed. Now it's just a medical. But how excited are you about the signing of Bruno Fernandes? I know that you shouldn't hype up players and you shouldn't get too excited and he's coming from a different league so it may take time for him to settle and he's coming into circumstances under extreme pressure to perform straight away. But he's a top class player in a position we have been starved of any class for a long, long time. I can't wait to see what he can do. It's such a shame that Pogba's injured, that Rashford's injured, that we can't see United's best players link up together. But just the sheer fact that we've signed Bruno Fernandes is a major step in the right direction. And The Guardian are reporting, actually, that his wages are going to be around 70000 a week, which is very, very, very good. And it might show that United are actually going to get some sort of semi-normal wage structure in the club, which is absolutely necessary, considering Luke Shaw's on like 130, 140. That's a ridiculous amount of money. Bruno doesn't solve all of United's problems. And no United fan is ever going to think that is the case. But he is a great signing in a key problem that should have happened five months ago. United signing Bruno Fernandes should have happened in the summer. We wouldn't be in the position we are in now had we signed Bruno Fernandes. And again, like when the club refused to sign Harry Maguire for Mourinho, then a year later we signed Harry Maguire for Solskjaer. We didn't sign Bruno Fernandes in the summer because we weren't sure on him, did more scouting, realised he's a great player, signed him in January. It's not too little too late because it's in January and we can make a difference towards the second half of the season. But United just have to pull their socks up, make the signings quicker and earlier, like January as well. If we had signed him at the start of January, there would have been a far better January. But I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be realistic. Bruno Fernandes didn't solve all of United's problems, but put him in that team, Get McTominay back fit. Fred is having a great season in comparison to where he was last year. Much improved. And Bruno Fernandes can now be that link between the midfield and the attack that's so glaringly obvious at United. Whenever you watch United play, that's the problem position. Bruno will come in and hopefully solve that. <clears throat> I don't think he'll solve it straight away. I'm not expecting miracles immediately. But he's going to be class. And he can take set pieces. No longer will we see Phil Jones anywhere near a corner or anybody else who shouldn't be near them. We'll see Bruno Fernandes on all the set pieces, both corners and free kicks as far as I'm concerned. And just I can't wait to see what somebody in that position can do and how much it can... Look at Martial, Rashford, James, Greenwood. We've got some very exciting and relatively young attacking players there. But we haven't had that number 10 who's been able to link the midfield to the attack and make the most out of the runs that they make. Bruno is that man. He's the man that's going to be the, the player that breaks down these low blocks that United have come unstuck against so often. He's going to be the man that can help with that. But a deal has formally been announced by United and Sporting Lisbon. Sporting have even done their goodbye video to him. He'll now fly to Manchester and maybe, hopefully not, he'll be in the crowd at the Etihad tonight to see United play Man City in the second leg of the League Cup semi-final. But Bruno to United is a done deal. The fee has been agreed. The only thing that now has to happen is the medical and then we can see Bruno holding that United shirt. How buzzing are you about the signing? Let me know in the comments below. But Bruno, welcome.